One, two, three. Star Fox is my first Super Nintendo review. I chose it because I've already done a Star Fox 64 review, so it was a gameplay style I was used to. You play as Fox McCloud as you save Corinia from Andros. You pilot a Landmaster and an R Wing through many different levels with different paths, so it adds replayability and is a lot more difficult than Star Fox 64. I'm going to say this straight off the bat, Star Fox hasn't aged well visually. It's impressive to see a fully 3D game on the Super Nintendo, but the lacks of textures show its age. This doesn't make it a bad game, on the contrary, it's fantastic, I love it. Though flying with a D-pad other than analog sticks took some getting used to. The D-pad is quite restrictive when you've been used to flying games with an analog stick. The fact that Nintendo has managed to put a 2 d control system in a 3D world and make it work so fluidly shows Nintendo knew exactly what they were doing when they made their first 3D polygonal game. Star Fox shows what made the SNES and other retro gaming consoles great. The restriction that these consoles gave developers made them focus on the gameplay, caused them to push the limitations of the consoles.